So here we go. This is our first character. His name is John Rorickson. So and we are here in Rorickstead. So John, John when he was, yep, this is episode one, that is correct. John, when he was a baby, was dropped off at the, I believe it's the, what is it, the Frost Fruit Inn here in Rorickstead. And so he's an orphan. Nobody knows who his parents are. And so he was collectively raised by Rorickstead where his, his surname, his last name comes from, Rorickson. And he is now 18 years old. He has spent the majority of his life within Whiterun. He's very rarely explored outside of that. He's been a lumberjack. Um, he's played it safe. You can see he's mostly just a civilian. And over time, he's seen soldiers pass through the town. He's, uh, he mostly lives you know, here outside, he'll occasionally people let him stay inside, but otherwise he prefers to just sleep out underneath the stars, right? Over, over time, he's been able to collect enough gold that he has been able to purchase an entire set of iron armor, and he is interested in becoming an adventurer and going out and slaying all of the bandits that have been plaguing Skyrim for the past 20 years. And that is his goal. He's good friends with Eric, uh, another farmer here. And he has one quest right now. He needs to talk with Eric's father, Ralki, because Eric is interested in becoming an adventurer too. And so we are going to talk to Eric's father and convince him to allow Eric to join us in becoming an adventurer and exploring Skyrim. That is our goal. So I see... In game, it's about 11:40, and uh, we already talked to Eric. He's he's over there. Eric hasn't had much luck, right? So we're gonna go in. We're gonna see what we. Can. I think one of the first things we'll do right now is we'll we'll put in some of our perks, right? We haven't done that yet. Uh, let's see. So some of the specs that I've done, I did speech and alchemy, uh, block picking. Because it's such a pain. What else do we have? Um, block, heavy armor, uh, two-handed. And so we're mostly going for a heavy armor build. Um, block and two-handed just kind of keep us alive, right? Yep, that is correct. Forming the squad. <clears throat> so what we'll do right now, because I'm going to forget to do these, we need to allocate some of these, right? Is we're going to throw one of our perks into alchemy so we can actually make potions. Uh, we are going to put one into smithing. Smithing will be pretty valuable. Because we can make a lot of our own here. Um, and we don't even have a smithing book. People don't realize that on this version, normally you need a craftsman's manual. But you, um, they changed that with Wildlanders so that you can just put a perk right into it. You don't need that book. Somewhere. So wonderful. I didn't know that for a while. Uh, we definitely need to invest into our heavy armor here. So we're going to get those. Uh, we're going to need to get the other two. Well, yeah, we'll, we'll probably cast a few spells. Right, um, definitely restoration. Excuse me. Let's see. Oh, we're going to probably want lock picking. That's a good one. I mean, we could just bash chests open, but it's probably better to have that. I'm thinking of either speech or two handed. <clears throat> you know, I really think that we're going to get ripped off if we don't have something in speech, right? Because if we throw something in speech, we have 15% better prices. Early on, that's kind of a lot. And that, it really adds up. Damage, you know, we're, we're starting with Eric, where with this, what we're really struggling with is money. So that's what we'll go with. All right, Rocky. We need to talk to you about your son. Eric, what about him? Did something happen? Is he all right? No, he's fine. You need to let your son choose the life he but wants, bro. the world is a dangerous place. Eric has no idea what he's getting himself into. What's more, he's got no armor. I'll have to save up the money for it. Mm, all right, all right, what are we gonna do? Uh, let's, we're gonna try and persuade him. Perhaps you should let a father decide what is best for his own son. <laughs> oh, ah, uh, okay. Well, we're not gonna give him all of our money because then we won't have anything. Um, I guess we're gonna just threaten him. So, find the money, or you'll have me to deal with. 
That's that's our response. Oh, I see. Uh, just remember right. that I saved a few septums in case of an emergency. This is starting to feel like one. <laughs> Tell Eric that I've changed my mind. And we'll visit White Run All right. to fit him for armor. And that's please, don't hurt me. <laughs> that's one way to do it, right? <laughs> okay, well, Eric's gonna be an adventurer now. I'm guessing you need a speech level of like 20 to pass that. Oh man. Alright, well well it worked, right? Here, you know what we should do is we should be wearing our, our heavy armor now. Uh acclimate to it, right? Oh, we become noticeably slower with it. There we go, where is he? Eric Eric, I have excellent you news. Talking to my father? He has changed his mind. Come on. I can't thank you enough, friend. I hope you'll come back to Rorikstead soon and pay me a visit. Maybe we can swap stories about our adventures over a mug of ale at the inn. Yeah, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna fast forward a day. We're gonna run over. We're going to wait for uh, probably six hours, maybe maybe eight hours. Just, just, just so we have it to the next day, right? Move it along a little bit. I don't think there's anything we can do in the meantime. I would nice that's food items. I don't know where we'd be able to grab any of those, but so what we'll do is we're just gonna fast forward to 7 p.m. and we'll sleep the night. So we're thirsty, a little bit hungry, and we'll just wait until morning. That should be fine. So we'll do 6 a.m. Yeah, 6 a.m. should be fine, right? That gives us the whole day to get stuff, right? God, I wish I could wake up at 6 a.m. Sore from sleeping on the ground. Yeah, well, that's okay. Parched, but well-rested. So we're sore. We're sore and well-rested? That work. All right, breakfast time. So we're going to want that, and probably, I think the apple cabbage stew. It's gonna be what we're gonna go with, right? Oh. It's still really dark. I don't know if I should have eaten that apple cabbage stew. We'll wait one more hour. How long, how much more do we have on the buff? About, oh, okay. So we, we lost like a minute there. Not too bad. Let's see if Eric's all set to go. He should be, he should be by now. All right, we're back. We figured out what the problem was. The problem was that apparently Eric only becomes Eric the Slayer on like the weekend. And when you start the game, you start on a Monday. So we literally had to wait like five days in game in order for us to finally get him to become Eric the Slayer. So here he is. Um, it is now the 25th of last seed. I think we started on the 17th. So I guess we had to wait like eight days, right? Who knows why it took Good so to long, but how would there you we go. Hire a brave, if untested, mercenary. Yes, Eric. Join Lead us. Way. All right. So we are Lead on. all set now. I think we still. Whoa. A coin How you doing there, Eric? Things. Oh, okay. I see. He was taking some of the gold. So yep, he took three hundred gold. Um, one thing I will say is, if you check now, it shows that we have five hundred gold. The reason, normally you start with 500. I added 300, and this is because I actually discovered a bug while messing around with the follower system. It seems like when you get them to first follow you, they'll take 300 gold, and then like five minutes later, they'll take another 300 gold. And I mean, we might be able to survive on like 200 gold rolling into Whiterun, but I really don't think we will. So we'll, uh, we'll see. If, if he doesn't end up taking it, then... I'll be a little bit surprised because this was a bug that I tested a few times. So I haven't reported it yet, but I mean, I consider it a bug, right? If you, like, if you pay someone, um, you know, up front and then they immediately request the next payment instead of the next day, like, that's kind of, right? So White Runners like California. Um, oh yeah, here we go. So here's the religion mod properly activating. Uh, we are a follower of RK. And the reason, so this is a modded playthrough. 
we are going to be doing RK specifically because one of the benefits you get from having 100% favor with RK is that you get a revive out of it. If, if you're killed, it will instead be a knockdown, which allows you to revive. Uh, it costs a decent amount of favor. And the reason I wanted to do this is just one of the things, like, it's... A lot of people will swear by, like, absolute permadeath, but I've never been a big fan of, you know, one-hit kills, basically, where, where you're shot with a single arrow and that's it, your character's dead. It, it just doesn't seem... It seems ridiculous to me. And so, like, when I played Skyrim, one of the things they have is something called the uh, Totem of Undying, where if you die while holding it, it consumes the item. So I've always been a big fan of that method. So this is, like, I guess you could call it permadeath light, right? But we'll see. Greetings. We'll see if people revolt, Truth right? Told, Based on that. Ram will probably I don't know. I, I don't care about how business we is. Make are from buying and selling oh. things that are used to keep the farms up and running. No, we just want to see if he has any backpacks, right? Uh, what do you have for sale? For yourself. There we go. <sighs> okay, I don't see any backpacks. I don't even see a um. Hmm. Like a hunting knife. Not much, huh? No, no mammoth either. Not much to work with. We have any tents? Maybe. Bruh. We have bed rolls, which could come in handy, but be seeing you. We'll uh, we'll just continue on, right? That's we. We're, I'm going to be working with Dylan to make sure that Rorikstead's a little bit better stocked because holy crap, there's absolutely nothing there. So I think one of the things I ended up doing is uh, w during my testing, I, I brought back the apple cabbage stew. So I this this is back, right? We had eaten it uh, expecting Eric to be where he was supposed to be, but he wasn't. So, so we're going to... we <coughs> Excuse me. We're using that for our stamina regen, right? How are we doing with our... I don't think there's anywhere that we could have ray or uh, gotten rare buff. Uh, maybe we can pray right now. I forget what the hotkey is. I'll I'll look later. We'll just use the um, the shrine of RK. So we have a few options. We oh my god, is that a freaking saber cat up there? We are oh mmm okay all right. Yeah, that is definitely a saber cat. Eric, we can't... Oh, oh, okay, it's going off the path. All right. All right. We are keeping our weapons up, though. Or maybe we should just run. Like, we are not going to be able to take on a saber cat at level one, right? I mean, even if it's just two people at level one, nope. I don't know. I mean, maybe if we kind of, if, if we utilize the terrain to our advantage here, hopefully we'll be okay. As long as there's nothing on the other side, we should be okay. Oh, God. Had to be a saber cat, huh? Anything up here? Don't see anything. Eric, be careful. Don't get eaten, please. Nobody's getting eaten today. Okay. One of the things I've been thinking about, too, is that if we take out any wolves, we won't really be able to skin them. Because Eric, Eric here, uh, for, for immersive, for or like lore purposes. Oh, oh. Nope, nope, nope. Eric, good God, please stay with me. So we're going to say that in order for Eric to leave his farm, he needs to send home 300 gold. Which I think is pretty reasonable, right? I mean... Come on. Oh! That went pretty well. All things All right. Not bad. So, like, we could skin this here, but... We don't have enough gold, right? We have to pay Eric 300 gold every day. So, if we can't... We, we need to make sure that we have enough for him early on. That's one of the things that isn't exactly the best about getting a follower, like, on your very first day. It's best to try and build up, you know, a little bit more stuff. Um, I think we're going to take this. It says that it's not stealing, and I I believe 
you know, I believe uh, John here. John doesn't think it's stealing, so neither do I. He could. Mm, I think we will. Stealing emboldened, right? Here, we're going to give uh, it just Eric this right new shield, now. right? No problem. How can I help? I think Eric liked the shield and he was like. There we go. All right. Here, we'll grab a few of our uh, lovely butterfly, butterfly friends that we can munch on on the way. It's so hilarious to me imagining like every character we create just just stuffing ingredients in their mouths, like just cas casually eating butterfly wings, whatever they're feeling down, right? Staying near the elk can be kind of helpful too because any wolves will usually go after them instead of us, so that's always nice. Do we have any lock picks? I actually didn't check. We have five lock picks, so there's a chest up there, right? One thing about books, by the way, within Requiem, is that books. What? Oh, y'all. Whenever you mess with. Oh, oh, it's down there. Okay. Yeah, emulate of Zenithar. Nice. Sometimes it will fall down inside. I actually forgot that there were silver bars out here. Um. So this, ah, uh, it would be really nice. Oh, able to improve items 10% better? That isn't super critical. I really need that. What do we pick up there? Those two silver bars? What are they worth? Freaking 100 gold each. We should be able to sell those nicely. Oh, right, that's right. We did get the Harvest End Flyer, so that's the 27th. That is uh, two, two days in-game, right? Today's the 25th. What was that? What was that? It was just an elk, right? Nothing to be worried about. Totally nothing to be worried about. Wah! All right, here we go. Now I get to, now I get to embarrass myself, struggling with locks. Ah. <sighs> On the more difficult ones, I think what I'll start to do is uh, just skip by them, right? We're gonna run out of lockpicks. This is the reason that I take smithing, by the way. Oh, is that it? Wow. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll take that. Our lockpicks, which is pretty good. We desperately need gems. We see another uh, waypoint out there. The giant and a mammoth in the way. Huh. We can probably wander over there reasonably safely, right? We're gonna keep our wits about us, though. Oh. Hmm. I don't know. I guess. I guess if they're around, it means that we don't really have to worry about anything over there, right? If any wolves get too close, they'll just well, they'll deal with them. Oh good. Oh god. I'm 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 like startling every time I hear anything that might potentially be dangerous. Nice. Twin secrets. What is what type of book is that? I uh, I don't know, I don't remember. Anyway, um books like this something else there? Adam, we can probably do that. Um Books are hard-coded, so it's like a set level of XP, right? So don't bother saving them until the end. You should just read them immediately. Um, yeah, we we might be able to do it. I'm, I'm willing to throw two lockpicks at this. Actually. No, okay. Just, two lockpicks. Right? Yeah, yeah. We'll try. Oh! Okay. It's a direction. Maybe three. A bit less. Less. I swear. Oh! Mm. Look at that, man. Ooh. Amethyst, emerald, flawless, sapphire, 120 gold. Thank you. Thank you very much. Where... We're gonna do a quick save for that. Wow. Okay. 
<laughs> well, so much for worrying about gold. Wow, I mean, so f we so far we only picked up 170 like actual gold out of that, but dang, dang. I don't know if there's any other waypoints on the way here, but I think we'll make our way back to the uh, the normal path, right? What what could possibly go wrong? And if nothing happens, you know, we'll, we'll skip forward a little bit. Smell the air, isn't it wonderful? It is wonderful, Eric. And you know what else is wonderful? Rubies and sapphires. Okay. Sleeping tree. Oh, oh, oh. He's walking to the sleeping tree. Oh, okay. No, Eric, let's go this way. We're... <clears throat> we are not messing with any giants today. Nope. No giants. No flying mammoths. None of that. None of that. Here, we can sprint a little bit. I see some ruins over there that we'll check out. I can't remember exactly what they are. I do want to keep my stamina up, and I also want to keep uh, Eric close. Eric! Eric? Oh my god, Eric. Is... Is Eric... F I think Eric is fighting them. <sighs> Maybe if we move far enough away, Eric will follow us. Where were the ruins that I was walking? Yeah, there they are. What? What? In the heck was that? Oh, okay, here comes Eric. <laughs> oh. This game is ridiculous sometimes, seriously. Oh, uh, yes. Interesting. What do we got? Okay, Eric. Get clobbered. Did did your heavy armor level go up a little bit? Hmm. Just down there. You still in combat? No, he's healing. He's fine. One of. The oh. Wolf. Wolf. Oh, they're hunting wabbits. And like everything else too. Man, this elk just don't. He really don't care, huh? Hmm. Hopefully they won't bother us, right? They probably will. But in the meantime, what we'll do is I think I can adjust these. So this is, Eric, you take care of them. All right, so that one's a snake. Um, ooh, butterfly. This one was, let's see, eagle. Look for the arrow. And then I'm just gonna guess that that's a snake. I don't think any of the others were a snake. No. You don't really get penalized for doing this one wrong. There we go, see? Brute force it. So what do we got? Skeleton, bone meal, uh... Age coat? Use that. Ooh, okay! Wow! Normally there isn't anything good in here. Another flawless sapphire? Seriously? And a, what, what was that? What was that? A superlative health potion. Instant heal. What are the chances of that? I'm kind of surprised we're getting so much good loot early on. Does this elk just, just not give a crap? <laughs> Eric! A shame that was necessary. <laughs> huh. All right, two less wolves in the world. All right? Whoa! There's a freaking bear here. Wow! Just a random dead bear. <sighs> Can we? <laughs> what is it? 
Oh no, okay. I was like, can we get Eric to pick up the bear? You so you can pick up the animals. I don't think we're gonna be able to do that, right? We uh, I mean it's eleven AM. It would be pretty nice to harvest some materials out of the bear, but I am genuinely surprised we ended up getting so much out of that. So we'll continue on. Yeah, it would be nice to get bear claws, but we'll 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 skip forward to White Run. There we go. Ooh, look! Wandering caravans here. Let's see if they have anything interesting. Take a look. What do you got? What do you got? Hmm. Well. Uh, we, we can't really afford that much. You, sometimes I'll play a light, uh, character and, and scaled equipment is the best. But, oh, there's our backpack. 112. I don't know what it takes to craft your own, but I say we just go with it, right? We should probably get one for Eric, too. But we'll do that later. Um, ooh, fishing maps. I don't know if we're going to do any fishing, but it's 18 gold, so we're just going to buy it. Right? Why not? Hmm. Lots of pelts. Rugs. Small fur tent. We're probably going to make our own large fur tent. And so we're not going to buy this, although it is, I'm, t I'm really tempted to. But I think that we're going to stick with a large tent so that when we get a party of three, we can all just use them. And we are going to go inside. Hmm. There is much beauty in this place. What's our sneak there level right now? Coming. It is zero. So, one of the great things about having level zero in something is that the first training level is literally free, which is pretty good. And I, so the cost of this to get from like zero to five is literally like, I, I think it's something like 200 gold to get five levels, just, just the instant five levels. And so I think, what is that? I don't remember the, the name of, who our, our Khajiit friend here is, but I'm pretty sure it'd be pretty easy to convince Eric, like, hey, if, if you're gonna be going around, you need to learn how to sneak a little, right? You have to learn to sneak. And so he's willing to throw down five levels just to learn a little bit. So. I hope that it also gets us, gets us significantly closer to a level up, right? And then we'll continue on up. <laughs> Pet the kitty. <laughs> it's our carry weight. Um, yeah, I'll grab all these. And then we'll make our way up. Because John here is an alchemist. He understands the importance of getting enough ingredients as a side hustle. Oh, you purchased Breeze Home. Nice. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll pick up a few of these. Triple Mountain Flowers. How are we doing? It's like 1 p.m. in game. We should be able to do a couple of the, uh, the ambient fetch quests around here, too. We enter the city. Get a little bit of extra gold. Did I give Eric those uh, the pieces of wood? Because we can give them to the innkeeper. We, we won't get anything back, really. We can't get as many free items. But... You guys okay? Who are you looking for? A foreigner in these lands. Red girl, like us. She's likely not using her true name. We will pay for any information regarding her location. We are not welcome here in Vico. So we will be in Rorikstead if you learn it. Right, spend spend all your gold there. Go to the inn, right? If you locate her, find us in Rorikstead. All you ask is to look for her. 
Nice. So let's see. Out here if you're um, by. do you work the forge I, all day? I do. I've got to. If I hope it's yeah. a sword. I made it for the Jarl, Balgroof the Greater. It's a surprise. I don't even know if he'll accept it, but listen, could you take the sword? Yeah, yeah, we'll place? we'll bring it to him. Right, we we get the point. All right, let's don't do it. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. Oh, look a lantern. Nice. Let's see, anything else we should pick up while we're going through here? Um, I could put on the freaking backpack that I purchased. Oh yeah, the am uh, amulet. We, we should, probably should have put the amulet on before we purchased the backpack. Uh, that's okay. Don't insult the dog. Dog is life. Dog is love. Any good, uh, let's see. Oh, two, two different missions to Riverwood. We're taking both of them. Thank you very much. So we will pick those up. Life's hard okay. enough with all these men propositioning me, but that bard is the worst. What bard? That bard Mikhail is. I heard him boasting at the Bannered Mare, saying he'll conquer me as a true north. Mm. What do you say we uh, beat him over the head? I don't think anything will get through that thick skull. We'll see, we'll see. I can be very persuasive. We threatened Eric's father with violence. So why not we use, why don't we use more violence? Violence is always the answer, everyone. Remember, it's true. Or at least occasionally. Moderate levels of violence. Keep the sword? No, John wouldn't keep the sword. Although the thought does cross his mind when he takes a look at it and realizes it's a pretty good sword. But no, no, we'd rather make friends here in White Run. We're an adventurer. We're making, you know, we're building a brand. I believe the steward. Over there? Is he over there? No. No. He must be having lunch up top. I think we can activate the quest here just to see, right? So. Here it is. Where would it be? Yep, he's up there. Told me first. Wow, we're, what did it say we're going to pick up there? An orcish dagger of stunning? Dang. Might hold on to that one. Have it show up, like, missing a few charges. Yeah! Had to borrow it for a moment. When I'm the Jarl of White Run. <laughs> I, won't apologize for talking to my people. I wonder if, uh, I wonder if you still get full pay for it, right? You might get a little side eye, like you show up covered in, like the dagger's covered in blood. Person's like, oh, thank you. Like, yeah. You wouldn't believe what it took to get you this dagger. Like, okay. I probably would believe you. I serve Jarl hey, Preventus. From Adrian? Yep. Ah, thank you. Please, take these few coins. 20 gold Our coins. Thank ready. you very much. Greatly appreciated. Uh, I got Jarl any work? Put out a bounty on some bandits. We Here, got Silent Moon's Camp. Details. Enjoy your visit to Dragon's Reach. Yeah, we'll do Silent Moon's Camp in like 10 levels. Well, I don't know. We, we have Eric with us, right? We'll probably be okay. Probably. Nope, so now, while we're here, um, I think what we'll do is we'll mark a few places on the map here, right? Our upside down. So, just because it's always nice to... Did we discover? I don't think we actually discovered that yet. Yeah, we have most of the um, the towns, 
right? We know where all the towns are. We're not that dumb. But we'll just get a few of these, right? Ivar Stead. Yeah, we know where that is, right? Here's Fordham Mall. Isn't that the one that has the quest that you can right? Stone. Green Wall. So, there we go. Okay. Moving right along. Oh my god, I just got disoriented. <laughs> so yeah, now we'll have um, just a few other places marked on. A few places to know that we should probably avoid. Come to Dragon's Reach to discuss the ongoing hostage. Are you the I only wizard? I am, yes. Ah, that reminds me. Would you be so kind as to deliver the frost salts for me? Sure, sure Captain I'm Voice Acting. Good. You're clearly better suited than I am to carry out such a menial task. Alright, yeah, that's That's great. You know, if you've got the app, uh. Oh, and then and then he shouts after us, "Hey, you should join the college." Yeah, okay. A great way to recruit people, huh? But that's okay. It's a beautiful day, right? Like Eric said. We'll run on down. After we deliver these, we are most likely. Oh. Actually, um, let's go pray to RK, and then we'll deliver the boss. See if we can pick this up, too. You tried mercenary work? Uh, what are you two arguing about? He fed his entire family with the gold he made using that weapon. Do you need a weapon? Not a, I Want me to help you find it? Bandits nearby. I don't know why I'm saying this, but if you find it out in your travels, I'd be grateful to you. All right, let's do it. It took me weeks what? to these <laughs> Valheim Towers. Man, they're they're really pummeling us with the uh four four locations, right? So I could I could jump and use it right there. I think we will. I think we'll just pray out so <laughs> That was not what I was expecting. So there we go. Our uh, our favor should have increased a little bit. And the Blessing of RK increases your health by 25. So that's pretty good. Is it 25 points? Oh, that's quite a lot. Um, bad. Not bad at all. Right? It's like slightly lower chance of death. We'll take it. Anything else we need in here? Um... Uh, we can probably purchase some wheat and make a uh, our first batch of potions. That'd be pretty good. Pardon me, but do here's your frost salts. Oh, but I suppose you expect some compensation. No, no, we, we no. Thank you, thank you, thanks. Potions should suffice. You really didn't have to, though. Um. So you're interested in my potions and ingredients? What can we sell her? Right, we're not really gonna use that. Stamina, I mean, I'd rather just have it. And then invisibility is nice. We don't really need the ale. Um, and the, this village wine, so, so it does a health buff by 30 points. We can get one for 50 points. So, I say we just kind of sell it, right? Plenty of ingredients and lots of gems, right? But I say we hold up. Wow. We we actually could sell these and like really get a decent deal on them. What's Sapphire's deal with uh, Amron? <laughs> Hard to say. I mean, they have a daughter, I think. Yeah, they have a daughter. So. All right. We need some wheat. She only has three, which is a good start. Right. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Um. Can I use the alchemy lab. You clean up. You know how to use it, right? Mix a couple of ingredients together. See what happens. A little wheat and blister wart makes a healing potion. If you didn't know. Blister wart. Okay. We have plenty of ingredients for sale. 
All right, give me some of your blister wart then. Uh, six. A little ex that's ah, it's very expensive. Um, so we'll take one. Take care of yourself. Just so we can unlock the perk. Uh, so we have wheat and blister. And the thing is, oh, and I think it's also blue mountain flower. Right? So every now and then, if you combine them in the opposite direction, it will be more powerful. And I don't see that happening here, but okay. Like that. So that gives us like basic, he oh, I should have been using the monarch wings. Duh. Wasn't really paying attention there. Can't you use these in uh new stool, right? Offer remedies for ailments both common and rare. Do yeah, and, and there you go. So just by switching the ingredients around. Right? So if you do monarch wing and then impstool, it's three points for 20 seconds. But if you do impstool and then monarch wings, it's five points. Which is ridiculous. You're but what can you do? So that's going to be one of the things that I put in a uh, training video soon. Um, can we take any of these, right? Get anything, anything we can borrow, right? No. Oh, okay. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, anything else? I'm tempted to sell the gems just so we have a little bit more gold. Oh, I was. <laughs> Eric was about to cast Mage Light. I was like. Eric, you okay? I ain't. Here, that'd be cool. Oh, thank you. Divine bless your kind heart. Again, probably should have done that before we purchased a bunch of ingredients, but eh. What can you do? Come on in. Let me know if you need anything, or take a seat by the fire, and I'll send someone. Give him the ale. I don't think you can give him the ale. Need. How about some uh, honest here. gold for honest I work. have some firewood to sell, so we should get like slightly better prices. What do you got Take for sale? Stu, thank you. And then anything with... Hey, we got a level up. Nice. Um, Like raw beef, we're definitely going to take, right? Because we can use that to make our own beef stew later. Anything with mammoth in it is really valuable. And I don't see any of it here. Um, I don't... How much is water, right? Balls of water, eight gold each. Ugh. We only have like 350 gold. Not much that can restore stamina over time. Like I see apple cabbage stew, but really not much else. Anything else we can get? Be careful out there. Particular. I don't think there's anything else that we can do. Which I which is a good patch, but it's like. Uh, uh. That's okay. We we found a tremendous number of different things on the way here, so we we really are ruling the hell, right? So start with health, because health. Wow, how's how's that for a boost, huh? Hmm. What should we put it into? Probably not sneak. We're not exactly sneaking right now. Um. <laughs> we could I mean if we really want to we could probably throw it into speech right no we can't where our speech level is too low so we can't even do that I guess we'll do two handed right 20% um, more damage minus 50% weight penalties the other option was to open up a school of magic so we can do that on the next one we should be okay. I'm probably gonna disable these pop-ups. I don't really want to bother with reading. Mostly because I'd forget that they're there. We'll, we'll pick up the uh, the fetch quests in a little bit. I think we can convince Mikhail to stop being a uh, jerk. Where is he? I don't see him. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. He isn't here. That's probably why I didn't think to uh, talk to him. 
Oh, we could get the beggar the ale and then not give it to him, so... Well, well then we have to steal something, and, uh... I don't... We're not that poor, right? We're, we're doing pretty good, right? We started off, we're doing really good. So... I want to be careful with that. We we want Arcade's favor. We don't want the Divines to abandon us. What we'll do... Right now, I'm in the process of making a tent, right? A large tent. Um, oh, but we require a... Maybe we might only need the um, survivalist tool. Here, I think what we have to do is go out like this and then use right shift. And that should give us everything we need. The crafting menu. There we go. So activating it directly off of the forge gives you like a really limited list, but it's being near them and then clicking right shift allows you to get everything. It's, I'd consider it a bug. Now as for tents, what we want is a big fluffy fur tent. So a fur large tent, four wood, two leather, 12 leather plate and a fur bedroll. Which, what we actually want is more bedrolls. So, what do you take to make a bedroll? Very top there. Uh, more, even more fur plates. So we would need like 14 fur plates. We might be able to buy those. It's always good. Just because they really take a lot. And for plates, for 250 gold. You know what we could do? We can commission one. Um, I'd like to place a crafting order. There we go. It didn't even occur to me. So, oh, but she is miss- Oh, she doesn't have enough fur plates. Um, and she needs a fur bedroll. Okay. Uh, then we'll go buy some from Yorling Greyman. Which works out well, because we're gonna join the companions first instead. I was meaning to make my way up there. So we'll join the companions, and for at least for YouTube, I'm just gonna skip it. Alright, so we did it. We're part of the companions now. Um, Eric was being absolutely ridiculous. No! Oh. Eric! Eric! <laughs> but we're part of the companions now, so that's good. Uh, we picked up a bunch of loot. What, what did we pick up, right? Um, we grabbed all of the steel equipment that was in there. We're going to be smelting that down, using it to create equipment. Um, what else? We got our emergency uh, fortify health which is the Alto Noir wine. Um, some salt, a couple of other things, right? Um, some some miscellaneous silver stuff that we picked up from inside the uh, cabinets mm. and stuff. Because we don't want to pick display, them off really. the table, right? We, we don't want to make it look gaudy, but... Let's see. If we could get one of these, right? 3,200 seconds, not bad. All right, what else? What we can probably do is here. Do you have any raw beef? Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Um, he has like nothing. He has ingredients, but good lord, man. Oh, you know, what I forgot to do was get um her plate. So wow, okay. He is significantly undervaluing saber cat pelts. So we're going to buy them. I mean, I don't know how many you can get out of wolf versus saber cat. So we're going to buy one of the saber cat and pray that it's like really good. I just realized, so we got a level up. We could go to another trainer. Uh, I don't know if there's any other trainers in White Run that we can just put our gold at. Let's let's do a quick look at our skills here, right? Oh, here we go, Marksman. That's one we could definitely do. So we could go to Ayla and um, get her to give us some quick levels. We'll do that later. 
So let's see what we can make out of this, right? Um, ba -ba -ba, yeah, three. So the deer, the deer one makes two, but the, uh, that was, I, I don't remember how we acquired that, but you know what, we have it, so we're just gonna use it. So, yeah, it works. Now, how do you make bedrolls? I can't remember. Survivalists and uh, bedrolls. Hide lace, so we do need hide lace. Um, hide lace. Do one of those, right? Why is it not showing bedrolls? Oh, okay, because it closed. I don't understand. Did I do something wrong? Do we... Do we not have any hide lace? Ah. What about just the raw recipes? Okay, that worked, or appeared to work. Um, oh crap, you can turn iron into charcoal by just, or, or just grabbing charcoal? What? I didn't know that. Well, I mean, ob <laughs> yes, obviously that's how you, um, that's how you make steel, but charcoal's easy to get. It's, there's a giant freaking pile, I think. Oh no, you have to like burn stuff. So we do, we can't just pick up our own, um, oh, see? Check this out. We got permission to use um, some of her steel here by becoming friends. We're definitely grabbing all of those, which we're now. Oh! <laughs> uh. It just feels right somehow. Having this new life. Okay. It's what? No problem? <laughs> here. Uh, we're not going to do anything with the silver. Um. <sighs> and we'll give them a torch, too. Here, Eric, can you give me all of your, like, extra stuff here? Let's be... We're just gonna smelt it now. Oh, uh, what we have to do is this. So the fragment breakdown system. So the iron heavy shields, we're just breaking them down. This will give us three iron bars per, right? The, uh, the light ones can probably be sold for money. And then we don't have to break down the actual light of those, right? But we do have to... Oh, right, the, the weapons here. Um, I'm going to use the Steel Warhammer. He's going to use the Steel Mace. Or should I use the, the Battle Axe? Which which heavy weapon should I use? The uh, Battle Axe or the Warhammer? I've kind of preferred Battle... Ah! Ah! Let's use the Warhammer. We're going to use the Warhammer and just... Go bananas, right? So now we can use the smelter and forge those back in day. So there's our fragments forged back up. Another one, another one, then three more fragments back into steel bars. How do we have? Oh, we only have two char. So we'll have to find a way to get more wood, right? Maybe it's by burning bows or something. Still over encumbered. At first, I thought I'd miss farming. I'm at your service. We got here. Uh, here's a new weapon. <laughs> ah, we're just gonna sell the That's other uh, iron sword that we have here because don't have time. Ain't nobody got time for that. It would be nice to upgrade to steel equipment, like right now, 
but... Let me know if you see anything you like. Oh, what fell? Wasn't me. I didn't knock it over. How's it going? Looking to protect yourself? Could you buy some, some of my junk, please? Uh, uh, should we break that down? I think we will. No, let's just get rid of it. I don't... <laughs> At some point, it's like, I don't have the patience for it. And, and I'd rather have, like, the, the 60 gold out of each of these than, than breaking them. Uh, we need our toolkit. Still amazing how much we can actually get for those. Um, and then the, the hide lace... We shall make... Does she need the bed rolls, right? In order to... For the first one, so... Need something? Yeah, for the large tent. Or is that included? No, you need a fur bed roll in it. So we need three fur bed rolls. Um, and then she needs more fur plates. Eric is just... I don't know what Eric's doing, but I'm already really glad that we have him as our uh, as our follower. So we will no wrong one. Because our crafting menu will make a little bit more. Can I not make hide lace? Yeah, that worked. So, oh. What is this? Deer pelt? I don't, uh, I don't know, that's kind of weird. Fur bed rolls, here we go. So, oh, you need two fur plate fur bed roll. Well, that's kind of frustrating. But uh, we can also make some lockpicks here. So we're going to quickly make like 30 lockpicks. Nice. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to end with... Let's go do some combat. We need to do a little bit of fighting, right? Well, we need some arrows. That's what we need. So we're gonna grab some orcish arrows, and then we should be all set. Got something for just about everybody in here. Give a holler if you have any questions. Where's your wife? If she gives us a good deal. You're someone who the finest weapons and armor. Ah yes, orcish arrows. We'll take. She only has fifteen, but but they're only ninety gold. So. Hard to argue with that. Oh yeah, we need a hunting knife too. How about a? Uh... Do you have any steel hunting knives? Yes. I completely forgot about that. Oh, look at these! Oh, it's so nice. It captures soul gems or it fills soul gems. Ah. Good luck out there. Probably even afford it too. Nope, so we're gonna say that we heard rumors of uh, somebody's interrupting some of the, uh, the supply chain right north of Whiterun. We're gonna go check it out. Ain't nobody messed with Whiterun. We're heroes. So we'll give Eric one of our arrows, just so he has something. Right, Eric. It just feels right somehow. I'm at your service. This is the moment I've been waiting for. Our two, our true test of strength and glory. Um, I'm gonna give you one healing potion. Better use it when you need it. Hmm. Anything else? No, that's all. That's looking pretty good too. And what we'll do is we'll eat our here. What we can do is we'll sprint, right? We'll sprint on down. And then we'll eat one of our stews so it'll quickly restore our stamina when we actually. Ooh. 
Ooh, piece of candy. All right. See, and now when we consume our beef stew, it actually brings us back up to full health. Worth it. We're also, also going to use our ash yam stew. Close. Do the Ashiam. Or is it? Or it's Horker and Ashiam, excuse me. Right. Favorited. That favorited too is our emergency weapon. What's detecting us right now? Is it animals or? It must be. I cannot see anybody. Oh, this is so difficult. Oh. Okay. Somebody right there, I think. All right, Eric, you take care of uh, them. I'll get the archer. Nice. Eric, how you doing up there? Ah! Ooh. All right, piece of cake, right? Do exactly what we were doing. Take basically everything, right? Ooh. Let's see, I think it's, uh, is it alt, right? That we use, look for bodies, yeah, wanted to make sure. Two steel arrows, bleh. Uh, we might be able to break these down in order to get our uh, fur plates that we need, right? We'll just take everything. One of those, we'll take the water. Wood, why not? Not over encumbered yet. Oh, I just barely missed. So, so I had it. I was almost close, you know. Or uh, no, I was close. What do you think? Can we get it? Here, we can smelt that down. It's such a weird thing, right? We don't really need any of that. Eric, right, come here. First, I thought I'd miss farming. Eric, you've got a little. I guess uh, I've had my fill of it because I don't miss it at all. Never mind. No problem. How can I help? Uh, oh wow! Okay, another battle axe in case. I I think if we give this to Eric, he's, he'll end up using it. But yeah, he switches to it. Which, you know. Okay. Eric, do you like any of these? And we'll just give him. Right. Anything else we can quickly hand off? Yeah. I'm worried that if we give him too much, we're going to weigh him down and he won't be able to move. So I'm trying to be careful of that. Let me know if you need anything. What's our health at? Because we're... So we're down like 30 health. It's not too bad. Grab all of the different alchemy ingredients first and the barrels and stuff. Eat nice. Juniper berries, nice. Uh, pickpocket. Interesting. But but no XP. Oh, okay. Oh, that's the uh, book that tells us where everything is, right? Uh, are these worth taking? Okay. These are all worth taking. I don't know what they are, but we'll take all the school. We're just gonna scrape everything, on, you know, into a bin, basically. Uh, and we metagamey a little bit. We knows what happened when we try to interact with that barrel. Or not barrel, excuse me. That, uh, that chest. So. Oh, this is empty. Okay. Here's, uh, the horse named Midnight. We're not going to steal them. I'd be... 
good. Uh, all right, let's go for it. We're gonna pick this. <laughs> so much, I, I mean, in my opinion, it's nice knowing that you have like 37 lock picks to be able to, you know, slowly torture yourself trying to get these open. Oh, okay. Ah! Whoa! Help! Alright. Do a potion really quick. Uh, that. Holy crap, Eric! Get him! <laughs> Eric really did just, like, beat the crap out of those other two. What level were they? What, did he just hit them once and they're freaking down? Like... Where'd they go? Where are they? Why won't you die? What do they run? I can't even see them. Oh. <laughs> wow. Okay, Eric. I I barely helped at all. I feel bad now. But we'll take all these. Smelt them down, right? Dang, Just Eric. Feels right somehow. Sure thing. Uh, here we will switch into these probably because they're better than what we have. We uh, what we might do, I think, we'll give all these up, but, and I'll give over these. Let's get. What we're gonna be doing is switching over to full steel because we have all of this iron now. Here we'll do a. Uh, Check for the bodies. Where are they? I don't see any. Probably back over here. Eric must have just immediately taken one of them out as they were approaching. Because I was trying to go... You know why? So, when they were going for me... Yeah, they're right there. Yeah, look at this. This is great. When they were going for me, Eric just went to town on them. Of course. Might not even be able to take all of this back. Yeah, we're barely gonna have enough. Oh, there we got Eric a cloak too. You leave, I'll follow. Um, is this the last one? No. So where was the last one? I think we took them out that way. Yeah, they're right over there. So we are gonna have to drop some. Oh, um, we don't have to drop some stuff. What you do? is you use the fragment Make system. Sure this is why Dylan created this. Was specifically so that you can break down these items into pieces like this so that you can smelt them later. Like, this is why he did this. And it's genius. Because now we can move. Because you don't want these big, stupid, ridiculous things filling your inventory, right? On um, the fur junk, right? Yeah, we'll just take do bow, yeah. Might need some leather strips, so. Don't want the cheese in your pocket, bro. You don't want your pocket cheese. All right, Let's go. So we'll run back to the uh, white run and start processing our stuff. All right, and there we go. So we've made it back into white run. We managed to pick up so much stuff. We processed all of the, the fur items down into pelts, so we now have 10 fur pelts, never mind the ones that uh, Arcadia already had. So we'll be able to craft our large fur tent, which we used to go camping. That's going to be really good. We have how many... It just feels right somehow. How many uh, shards like do we have? Somehow. Iron shards here. What do you want me to carry? We have nearly 500 here right so we probably have 
at if least any- 25 iron ingots worth here, right? 500 shards, and that's, yeah, easily 25 iron ingots, plus another seven. We can turn those into steel, if we can find a good source of wood, right, that we can deconstruct our charcoal, specifically. And then we'll be able to upgrade so to full steel and be rolling in style. <laughs>